So over here, you can see that I got four frames. And if you want to export these frames out, then you can click on the frame right here. So once you click on the frame, you can see that over here on the bottom, export is an option. So here you can see export frame is an option right here. And you see the preview of the frame over here as well. So if you want to export this, you can go around over here and you can export this in a particular size. You want it to be half the size of the original frame, you can select 0.5. You want it to be two times larger, then you select 2x. So let me just go around and select 2x right here. And you can also add in a suffix. So I'm going to type in tube right here. You can go around on to the file tab that you want to export this in. You can export this as a PDF, as a JPZ, as an SVZ. So usually when you want uh, an easy to open file with transparency, use PNZ. If you don't want transparency uh, and easy to open file, you use JPZ. SVZ is scalable vector graphics, so you do need specialized software to open this. And another is universal file format PDF. So I'm just going to go around stick to PNZ right here. And over here, I'm going to go to export settings. So here it says ignore overlapping layers, so it'll correct that out. So once you select this frame out and you want to export this, you simply click on export frame one. And what happens is that it opens out the Explorer window. So I'm just going to go around onto my desktop and then save this. And what happens is that this has been exported, as you can see right here, as a regular image. So now let's go around and export these images out over here as well. So I'm going to export out frame two now. So I'm going to go around right here, select JPEZ for this one, click on export. And there you go, the frame two has been exported. I'm going to select out SVZ for this one, export out. And for frame four, I'm going to select out PDF, export frame four, and then there you go. So now these four files has been exported as you can see right here. So there you go, this is the file in JPZ format. This is the file in SVZ format right here. There's a bit of an error right here. So if I were to go around on to the frame four, open this up. Now this is a PDF file exported as a PDF file, as you can see. And that is how you can export out frames in various formats. You can also go around over here on the top, go to main menu, and you can go around over here into file. And here you can see export frames to PDF or export option is here as well. So I'm just going to go around right here and click on export frames to PDF. So all of them will be exported out as a single file in this case. So you can see that I can scroll down. These are all of the files right here. Similarly, I can go around right here on to, let's say for example, file on to export. And over here, you can see that I can export out the selected frame right here. So right now, frame four is selected. So this is what you have. You've got the export option. You can go around and export that particular file right here as well. Let me just replace it. And this is what you have right here. So on the frame four, this is exported. So that is how you can utilize the frame exporting properties to save out your file in different formats from Figma design file. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.